This is Shravanti, working as assistant professor, Department of Chemistry in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about problems on total hardness in terms of calcium carbonate equivalence by using EDTA method. So here 100 ml of water sample requires 20 ml of EDTA. 100 ml of water sample requires 20 ml of EDTA solution for titration. So, 1 ml of EDTA solution is equivalent to 1.1 mg of CaCO3. So, calculate hardness in ppm. So, here units of hardness is parts per million, milligram per liter, degree of clerk and degree of French. Here it is given ppm hardness given in that units are parts per million. So, here 100 ml of water sample requires 20 ml of EDTA. So here, what is the abbreviation of EDTA? Ethylene Diamine Tetra Acetic Acid. So Ethylene Diamine Tetra Acetic Acid mainly used for determination of hardness or estimation of hardness by EDTA. So here, EDTA acts as a complexing agent. That means it forms complex with hardness causing ions which are present in water. Generally in water which type of hardness causing ions present? Calcium, magnesium ions of bicarbonates, chloride, sulfate, nitrates present in water. So when we are adding EDTA, EDTA forms complex with this hardness causing ions of calcium, magnesium uh, combinations like carbonates, bicarbonates, chloride, sulfates etc. So, how much amount of hardness causing salt or hardness present in that water, it can be estimated by using EDTA. So, it acts as a complexing agent. So, that's why this method is also called as complexometric method or com EDTA method. So, here 100 ml of water sample requires 20 ml of EDTA. So, how many, how much amount of total hardness causing ions present in this 100 ml water? So, it can be estimated by using 20 ml of EDTA solution for titration. So, here 1 ml of EDTA solution is equivalent to 1 ml of EDTA solution is equivalent to 1.1 milligrams of CaCO3. So, here calculate the hardness in ppm. Generally, how, how can you prepare hard water? Generally, hard water means it's present calcium, magnesium ions of bicarbonates, chloride, sulfates, etc. So, otherwise, in some areas, this water contains less percentage of this hardness causing ions. So, in that case, you are preparing hard water by using calcium carbonate. So, 1 gram of calcium carbonate and few drops of HCl dissolved in 1 liter of water. This is the preparation of hard water generally. So, in that it requires 1 ml of EDTA solution is equivalent to 1.1 milligrams of CaCO3. So, now calculate the hardness in ppm. So, what is the solution of this one? Uh, given 1 ml of EDTA solution. 1 ml of EDTA solution is equal 1.1 milligrams of CaCO3 is equal 1.1 milligrams of CaCO3. So 20 ml of EDTA solution, 20 ml of EDTA solution, it's equal how many milligrams of CaCO3? So 20 ml of EDTA solution, it's equal 20 into 1.1 milligrams of CaCO3. That means 1 ml of it is it it equal 1.1 gram milligrams of CaCO3. So 20 ml of EDTA solution is equal 20 into 1.1 milligrams of CaCO3. So it is equal 22 milligrams of CaCO3. So next 100 ml of water sample requires. So 100 ml of water sample requires in the data 20 ml of EDTA. So, 100 ml of water sample requires 20 ml of EDTA. So, it's equal how many milligrams of CaCO3? So, 100 ml of water sample requires it's equal 22 milligrams of CaCO3. 22 milligrams of CaCO3. So, now 1000 ml of 1000 ml of water sample. 1000 ml of water sample is equal 22 into 1000 by 100 milligrams of CaCO3. So, it's equal 
hardness is 220 milligrams per liter or 220 ppm. So mathematically already we know that 1 ppm equal 1 milligram per liter. So here hardness equal 220 milligrams per liter or 220 ppm. So in this way I have calculated the hardness by using EDTA. One more problem discussed based on this EDTA method. So 100 ml of sample water requires 18 ml of EDTA solution. 100 ml of sample water requires 18 ml of EDTA solution for titration. So 22 ml of the same EDTA solution, 22 ml of the same EDTA solution were required for the titration of 100 ml of standard hard water. 22 ml of the same EDTA solution was required for the titration of 100 ml of standard hard water. So containing 1 gram CaCO3 per liter, 1 gram calcium carbonate per liter. So calculate hardness of water sample in ppm. Calculate hardness of water sample in ppm. So your solution is given 1 liter standard hard water. Given 1 liter standard hard water containing how many grams of CaCO3? 1 gram of CaCO3 given in the data. So 1 liter of standard hard water contains 1 gram of CaCO3. So that means 1000 ml of standard hard water contains 1000 milligrams of CaCO3. Here. 1 liter of standard hard water contains 1 gram of CaCO3. So that means 1000 ml of 1 liter equal 1000 ml. So 1000 ml of standard hard water contains 1000 milligrams of CaCO3. 1000 milligrams of CaCO3. So 1 ml of standard hard water, 1 ml of standard hard water is equal 1 milligrams of CaCO3. 1 ml of standard hard water is equal 1 milligram of CaCO3. So in that case, 22 ml of EDTA, 22 ml of EDTA is equal 100 ml of standard hard water. It's equal 100 ml of standard hard water. So it's equal 100 into 1 because 1 ml of standard hard water is equal 1 milligram of Stand, uh, CaCO3. So 20 ml of PETA equal 100 ml of standard water. So it's equal how many milligram per uh, calcium carbonate? 100 into 1 it's equal 100 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So your 1 ml of EDTA it's equal 100 by 22 milligrams of CaCO3. So therefore 1 ml of EDTA it's equal 100 by 22 milligrams of CaCO3. So 100 ml of sample of water, 100 ml of sample hot water, it's equal, it requires here, see in that problem, uh, 100 ml of sample water requires 18 ml of EDTA, the determination of hardness in uh, hardness causing ions which are present in that 100 ml of water, sample water. So it requires how much ml of EDTA given in that problem, 18 ml of EDTA. So here 100 ml of sample water require 18 ml of EDTA. So it's equal how many milligrams per uh, milligrams of calcium carbonate required? So it's 100 ml of sample half sample hot water it's equal or sample of water it's equal 18 into 100 by 22 milligrams of calcium carbonate. 18 into 100 by 22 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So therefore uh, for 1000 ml of sample hot water, 1000 ml of sample hot water is equal 18 into 100 by 22 into 1000 into 100 calcium carbonate molecular weight is 100. So it's equal hardness is 818.18 milligrams per liter or it's equal ppm, 818.18 ppm. So now you can calculate the uh, one more problem based on that EDTA method. Uh, 0 0.28 grams of calcium carbonate. 0 0.28 grams of calcium carbonate was dissolved in HCl. HCl and the solution was made up in 
वन लीटर विथ डिस्टिल वाटर सो जनरली प्रिपेर हाउ कैन यू प्रिपेर हार्ड वाटर वन ग्राम ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट एंड फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ एच सी एल डिजॉल्व इन वन लीटर ऑफ वाटर सो द मोलिटी ऑफ दट हार्ड वाटर सैंपल इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सो इन दट डेटा गिवेन दट जीरो पॉइंट टू एट ग्राम ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट डिजॉल्व इन फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ एच सी एल एंड एड वन मेकअप सोल्यूशन टोटल मेकअप सोल्यूशन इज वन लीटर सो दट पर्पज वी आर एडिंग रिमेनिंग इज डिस्टिल वाटर वन लीटर ऑफ डिस्टिल वाटर so this is the preparation of hot water in that case in this case so now 100 ml of the above solution so first we prepare uh, 1000 ml of distilled water uh, hot water sample so in that case we are using 0.28 grams of uh, calcium carbonate uh, and added few drops of hcl dissolved in 1 liter of distilled water so the above sample we have to take only 100 ml So, 100 ml of EBO solution is required. 28 ml of EDTA, 28 ml of EDTA solution on titration. So, that means uh, if you are taking 100 ml of EBO uh, prepared hard water sample, so we can calculate the total hardness present in that 100 ml sample. So, that purpose we required EDTA. We are using EDTA. So in that case, the titration we are getting a uh, uh, beer rating is twenty eight. That means hundred ml of above solution required. Twenty eight ml of EDTA solution on titration. And next, hundred ml of hot water sample. Hundred ml of hot water sample required. Thirty three ml of same EDTA solution. Hundred ml of hot water sample required. 33 ml of EDTA solution and titration. Again, we are taking same 100 ml of hot water sample titration with EDTA. Then we are getting how much ml of EDTA required? Second case, 33 ml of EDTA solution required. So again, 100 ml of this water after boiling and cooling. So what purpose we are doing boiling to remove temporary hardness causing ions. So what are the temporary hardness causing ions? Generally, temporary hardness means calcium, magnesium, bicarbonates present in water. So that water is called temporary hardness of water. So how can we remove this temporary hardness of water by boiling? So that purpose, uh, the hundred ml of this water after boiling and cooling and filtering. So it required uh, that purpose. It required how much ml of EDTA? Ten ml of EDTA solution on titration. So that means here. we can remove temporary hardness that means we can calculate the only permanent hardness causing ions which are present in that 100 ml of water so that purpose we are doing boiling so after remove temporary hardness that uh, remaining hardness uh, hard water sample is titrating with edta so that purpose it required 10 ml of edta solution on titration so now calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of water Temporary and permanent hardness of water. So how can we solve this one? So given thousand ml of standard water, given thousand ml of standard water contains its equal how many milligrams of calcium carbonate? Zero point two eight milligrams of calcium carbonate. So that means thousand ml of standard water contains zero point two eight into Thousand milligrams of CaCO three, zero point two eight into thousand milligrams of CaCO three. It's equal to eighty milligrams of CaCO three. So that means thousand ml of standard water contains two eighty milligrams of CaCO three. So one ml of standard water containing zero point two eight milligrams of CaCO three. So twenty eight ml of EDTA. So in first case, hundred ml of above sample. First we are preparing thousand ml hot water sample. In that we are taking only hundred ml of uh, that above prepared hot water sample. So it requires how many how many uh, ml of EDTA? Twenty eight ml of EDTA. So twenty eight ml of EDTA is equal hundred ml of standard hot water. Hundred ml of standard hot water required twenty eight ml of EDTA. So it's equal hundred into zero point two eight milligrams of CaCO three, hundred into 
zero point two eight milligrams of CaCO three. So it's equal hundred into zero point two eight into twenty eight is equal. So that means uh, yeah hundred into zero point two eight it's equal twenty eight. Uh, that means one ml of PETA is equal one milligrams of CaCO three. So now we can calculate the total permanent and temporary hardness of water. So how can we calculate the total hardness of water? So generally, hundred ml of water above prepared one liter sample. In that we are taking only hundred ml of that water sample. Hundred ml of hard water. So it requires thirty three ml of EDTA. It requires thirty three ml of EDTA. So what is the meaning of total hardness? It is a combination of temporary hardness causing salts and permanent hardness causing salts so that means calcium magnesium ions of bicarbonates uh, chlorides sulfates etc present in water so temporary hardness causing salts are calcium magnesium bicarbonates and permanent hardness causing salts are calcium magnesium chlorides sulfates etc so your total hardness means The combination of temporary and permanent hardness causing salts present in that 100 ml of given water sample. So 100 ml of water sample it requires according to data it requires how many ml of EDTA? 33 ml of EDTA. So it's equal 33 into 1 milligrams of calcium carbonate. That means 100 ml of hard water it's equal 33 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So therefore. Thousand ml of hard water. Thousand ml of hard water. It's equal to thirty three into thousand by hundred. So total hardness equal. After calculation, we'll get total hardness is three thirty milligrams per liter, or it's equal to three thirty ppm. Three thirty ppm. This is the total hardness of given hard water sample according to data. Next, we'll calculate the permanent hardness of water. So, NCH, non-carbohydrate, non-bicarbonates. So that means permanent hardness means we can remove temporary hardness causing salts. So, what is the temporary hardness causing salts? Calcium, magnesium, bicarbonates. How can we remove this temporary hardness causing salts? By boiling. So, in that, how can we calculate permanent hardness of a given water sample? So 100 ml of the same water after boiling. What purpose are doing boiling? We can remove temporary hardness causing ions which are present in that water. So after boiling, cooling, and filtering, so it's required how many how many ml of EDTA? It's equal 10 ml of EDTA. So after removing temporary hardness causing ions after boiling, uh, the remaining water sample required. 10 ml of EDTA, so it's equal 10 into 1 milligram per CaCO3, so it's equal 10 milligrams of CaCO3. So therefore, 1000 ml of uh, the water equal 10 into 1000 by 100 milligrams of CaCO3. So permanent hardness of given water sample is it's equal 100 milligrams per liter or 100 ppm. Now we can calculate the temporary hardness of given water. So how can we calculate the temporary hardness of water? So temporary hardness equal total hardness minus permanent hardness. This is the formula used for the determination of temporary hardness of given water. So temporary hardness equal total hardness minus permanent hardness. So your total hardness of given water is three thirty milligrams per liter or three thirty. ppm so we can substitute here total hardness is 330 ppm minus permanent hardness of given water sample is 100 so we can substitute here in the formula total hardness is 330 ppm and permanent hardness is 100 ppm so 300 330 minus 100 it's equal 230 mg per liter so temporary hardness of given water sample is 230 mg per Liter. So, according to data, we can calculate the total hardness of given water is three thirty milligrams per liter, and permanent hardness of given water sample is hundred milligrams per liter, and temporary hardness of given water sample is two thirty milligrams per liter or two thirty 
ppm mathematically 1 ppm equal 1 mg per liter both are equal so temporary hardness of given water sample is 230 mg per liter or 230 ppm one more problem we discussed based on the tdta method a sample of water a sample water of 100 ml required 12.6 ml of 0.02 m edta solution here with ebt as indicator so a sample of 100 ml a sample of water of 100 ml so 100 ml water sample simply says it required 26 uh, sorry 12.6 ml of edta 12.6 ml of edta so what is the molarity of the edta solution 0. 0 0.02 m edta solution and here we are using general edta titration purpose ebt indicator we are using aerochrome black t so already we discussed previous classes how can we calculate it? what is the procedure of edta method how can we estimate hardness by using this indicator and edta solutions so based on that we can discuss today uh, numericals based on that edta method so generally edta method purpose we are using indicator is ebt aerochrome black t indicator is used what purpose we are using this indicator identification of end point so generally in this edta titrations the when we are adding ebt indicator the color of the solution hard water sample uh, is uh, wine red so after titration uh, with edta solution then we get blue color so here 100 ml of water sample given water sample requires 12.6 uh, ml of edta and molarity also given here what is the molarity of edta solution 0 0.02 and here we which indicator we are using ebt indicator this is the first one and 8.4 ml of 0.02 m edta uh, for the same volume of water the same volume of water means same 100 ml of water sample so it's required in second case it's required 8.4 ml of edta and molarity also same uh, 0.02 m edta that means edta molarity is 0.02 m so the same volume of uh, water after removing the carbonate hardness second case means we can calculate the permanent hardness of water so that purpose we can remove temporary hardness of water by boiling so now calculate the total permanent hardness in terms of CaCO3 equivalent in terms of calcium carbonate equivalent so how can you calculate the total permanent hardness of water in uh, calcium carbonate equivalent in terms of CaCO3 equivalent so here first case 100 ml of uh, water sample required 12.6 ml of edta and what is the molarity of that edta 0.02 m this is the user for total hardness and next second case 8.4 ml of uh, edta required and molarity also same 0.02 m and same volume of water sample that means 100 ml only but what is the difference here we can remove temporary hardness we can calculate the permanent hardness of water so here 8.4 ml of 0.02 m edta for the same volume of water after removing the carbonate hardness so here what is the formula m3v3 equal m2v2 m3v3 equal m2 v2 so m3 v3 related to hot water m3 v3 related to hot water and m2 v2 related to edta edta so here m3 means molarity of hot water molarity of hot water so we don't know that so put the question mark m3 equals we have to find out so put the question mark here and v3 v3 means volume of hot water so how much ml volume of hot water 100 ml according to data 100 ml of water sample we are taking for titration and here m2 is the m2 we related to edta so molarity of edta so how much ml molarity of edta 
zero point zero two m molarity of EGTA, and V two is the volume of EGTA consumed. So what is the volume of EGTA? Twelve point six ml. So now we can calculate the m three. So what is the formula? M three V three equal m two V two by V three. M three equal m two V two by V three. Or M two V two dash. In this case, we are using here for identification purpose. So M three equal M two V two by V three. We can substitute all the values in this formula. So here M three equal M two value is molarity of EDA zero point zero two, and V two is the volume of bullet reading or volume of EDA required for hundred ml of water sample twelve point six by water sample volume of water sample is hundred ml. So zero point zero two into twelve point six by hundred is equal zero point zero zero two five two m. So this is the molarity of hard water is zero point zero zero two five two m. Now we can calculate the total hardness. So what is the formula we are using here? Total hardness equal m three into hundred into thousand. So m three means here molarity of Given hot water or molarity of hot water, so just now we calculated its M three value is zero point zero zero two five. We can substitute it in this formula and into hundred. What is the meaning of hundred here? We can convert it into calcium carbonate equivalent. Why we have to convert it all the hardness causing salts in a calcium carbonate equivalent? Because uh, it may calcium carbonate is highly insoluble in water and its molecular weight is hundred. And equivalent weight is fifty, so that makes it calculation is very easy. So that's why all the hardness we can convert it into calcium carbonate equivalent. So here M three value is zero point zero zero two five into hundred. Hundred is the molecular weight of calcium carbonate, and thousand is the total makeup solution is thousand one liter of water. So it's equal thousand ml. So zero point zero zero two five into Hundred into thousand, it's equal two fifty two ppm. So total hardness of given water sample is it's equal two fifty two ppm. So first we have to calculate the molarity of given water sample. After that we can calculate the total hardness of given water. It's equal two fifty two ppm. Next we can calculate the permanent hardness of water. So here in that second case, what is that? Eight point four mL of uh, EDTA required for hundred mL of water sample. Volume of water sample is hundred mL, and its molarity or volume of EDTA required eight point four. And molarity of the EDTA solution is zero point zero two, according to data. So here eight point four mL of zero point zero two m EDTA for the same volume of water after removing the carbonate hardness. So what is the meaning? We can remove the temporary hardness causing salts by boiling. So after remove temporary hardness causing salts means calcium magnesium bicarbonates. So after remove temporary hardness causing means we can calculate only its present permanent hardness causing salts. So what is that permanent hardness causing salts? Calcium magnesium ions of chloride sulfates etc. So here. That 100 ml sample, it containing only permanent hardness causing ions only, because uh, we can remove temporary hardness causing ions by boiling. So the remaining 100 ml water sample after removing this temporary hardness causing ions, uh, that sample is uh, after titration. That means uh, the, the titration purpose it required how much ml of EDTA? 8.4 ml of EDTA. So your formula is M four V four equals M two V two. So M four V four equals M two V two. M two V two related to EDTA, and M four V four related to hard water. M four V four related to hard water and M two V two double dash or M two V two simply says so. So M two V two is equal EDTA. So M four equals molarity of hard water. So here M four we have to find out. We don't know that value. We should find out here. So M four equal put the question mark and uh, M two. Uh, so here V four volume of hard water. So already we know that hundred ml of volume of hard water we are taking according to from the data. 
so volume of hot water is equal 100 ml and next m2 m2 equal molarity of edta so its value is from the data 0.02 m 0.02 m and v2 v2 equal volume of eta consumed so its equal 8.4 ml 8.4 ml so now what is the formula m m4 equal m2 v2 by v4 so we can substitute all these uh, values in this formula finally you get m2 means the molarity of eta is 0 0.02 and v2 volume of eta is 8.4 and v4 volume of hard water sample is 100 ml so it's equal you'll get 0 0.00168 M. After calculation, we will get the molarity of uh, hard water is given hard water or permanent hard water is 0 0.00168 M. This is the molarity of uh, permanent hard water. So, permanent hardness, now you can calculate the permanent hardness. So, how can you calculate the permanent hardness of water? So, permanent hardness equal M4 into 100 into 1000 formula. So here M4, molarity of permanent hot water is 0 0.00168 into 100. Calcium carbide molecular weight is 100 and 1000 is total makeup solution is 1000. So what is the formula we are using for permanent hardness determination purpose? So permanent hardness equal M4 into 100 into 1000. So M4 value is 0 0.00168 into 100 into 1000. Finally, you get 168 ppm. So, permanent hardness of given water is 168 ppm. So, now you can calculate the temporary hardness of given water sample. So, how can you calculate the temporary hardness of water sample? It's equal total hardness minus permanent hardness. So, temporary hardness of water sample equal total hardness is total hardness of given water is Zero. Already we can calculate total hardness. That is a 252. So directly you can substitute total hardness is 252 minus permanent hardness is 168. 252 minus 168. It's equal 84 ppm. So from the data or according to data, total hardness of given water sample is 252 ppm and uh, permanent hardness uh, Permanent hardness of given water sample is 168 and temporary hardness of given water sample is 84 ppm. So in this way we can calculate the total temporary and permanent hardness of water by using EDTA method. So in this session we will learn about how can we calculate the hardness that means total hardness or permanent hardness or temporary hardness of water by using EDTA and EBT indicators or by using EDTA. So I hope understood all. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.